Good morning, YouTube. Today I wanted to take uh, some time to go over with you the solar system that I built into Holina. And uh, let me just start up here on the roof because one of the most complicated aspects of this is the mounting of these massive solar panels here on the roof of the trailer. So I just wanted to take a moment here to uh, show you all that was involved with doing this. And then there'll be some still photos later showing you the process, but I wanted to show you the finished product first. Some of the things that I, I wanted to talk about was uh, this uh, Dicor products and the self-leveling and also the butyl tape. If you'll see that here, there's the butyl tape and uh, the self-leveling. I've used it also on this, uh, on this installation. But let's look closely at how this Unistrut is fastened here. Hopefully you can get a good look at how I've used the butyl tape uh, ex extensively. Under each piece of Unistrut, there's two, uh, there's two strips of the butyl because this is uh, about three quarters of an inch and I wanted to have a good base on there. And you can see how over time these have been on not quite a year now, but you can see how uh, they're doing a good job sealing between the unistrut and the trailer roof. And then I took the self-leveling Dicor product and, and any penetration that actually came up through the roof, and these are carriage bolts that come up from the bottom side. And you'll also see some pictures of where I was measuring that out early on in the process, but the carriage bolts come up through the Unistrut and then it's bolted. And that way the carriage bolt to, uh, uh, is on the bottom side, which gives a nice finish so that I can work with my ceiling down below. Here you see the penetration for the solar uh, wiring. And also I went ahead and put a, a weather resistant box up here so that at later times I could come up through the roof and I wouldn't have to penetrate the roof a second time. So this is kind of handy to have this for future use. And in fact, when I went to install the cameras, I did use this uh, penetration through the roof and also used it for the uh, supplementary lighting that I installed on uh, the front and the corners and all that. So uh, I think it was a good idea to have something this like this for future use. Uh, one of the things too, just a quick note, if you look closely, this is how tight this application on the solar panels it was, that I had to do a little bit of a clipping here on the, uh, on the vent. But it did fit, but it's tight. And you can see all of these clips that are installed and in addition to the clips, because I'm supposed, I guess part of it is riding a motorcycle all these years, but I sure did not want to lose these panels. So my secondary method uh, of installing and putting, fastening these uh, panels in place was also a stainless steel strap here. And these stainless steel straps, I got at least four, some, some of them I have six on each one of these panels. And that is just kind of a secondary system so that if I ever had a failure of some of these clips here, we would also have this secondary system of the stainless steel strap. Just didn't want to lose it in any way. So let's go on down uh, and take a look down below and we'll look at the, the grow watt, which quite frankly, when you all are asking me about the building of the solar system, uh, the GrowWatt microprocessor does many things with the solar. And uh, it's a, I think it's a good product, probably the lazy man's way of doing the solar system. But for a first time guy, that was my way of doing it. So. You can see right now, even on a very cloudy day, we're harvesting about uh, four and a half amps. I'm at 
This system, uh, let me just say again, on one of my earlier videos, I talked about it being uh, uh, 7KW, and that's incorrect. Just do the math. Uh, I was just, uh, I guess, uptight on that first one, but it's over a 13KW battery. When you calculate, you look at here, we've got, uh, it's at, that's at 48 volts, 272 amp hour battery. So it's, it's quite a massive system at over 13 kW. Let's uh, take a look at the microprocessor, which is back behind the refrigerator. If you, if you recall, and you'll see also in some of my earlier videos, I'm gonna show them in this video how the build went. But here is where they're tucked away, the microprocessor, the grow watt is tucked away behind uh, some of my appliances. Now I have got good spacing here to give a good breathing space. And if you look here, both above I have a vent and down below here near the floor, I have a vent down here. So this lets this uh, microprocessor, this grow watt, go ahead and breathe because it does generate some heat as it is doing all its functions uh, and its functions include a 3,000 watt, 120 volt inverter. It is also the, uh, uh, it's also charges the batteries, takes the power from the, uh, from, from the uh, solar array. And uh, it just has a lot of different things that it does. So I'm thankful for that. And I did simplify my system a little bit. So, as we're doing this overview, let me show you too. Uh, we've got a really, I think it worked out pretty nice the way the cover worked out over the battery because the battery is massive. And uh, I'm just gonna go as, as we're speaking here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that cover from the battery so you can see what it looks like. It's just a matter of pulling it back and I'll place it right here. And here is the, the battery. As I say, it's massive battery. It's over 200 pounds. And it's 270, each cell is 272 amp hours. And the 16 cells are all put together here. Did quite a bit of work on cushioning everything from down below to between the batteries and then strapping it down. And here you see on the front is the BMS that monitors the battery and uh, keeps all of the cells in balance. And also a very important aspect of these lithium cells is if it is trying to charge at a very low temperature, and I believe it cuts out around 40 degrees, maybe a little less than that, but it, it will stop the charging process to protect this battery that should not be charged at lower temperatures. So I'm hoping that's a good overview for you on the solar. And now I'm going to take the time to uh, use the I, the, the video system and uh, put together a little more for you, information about the history of this build. And uh, thank you very much for your time. And do like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here so that I can be challenged to do a few more videos. Thanks, bye-bye. Well, another day in the trailer, I am measuring where to put the supports for the solar panels. So I took the piece of Unistrut here below and I wedged it up in here and then I marked, and I'll drill up through the ceiling, up through the roof. And I'll use some sealant on it and put it in from the top. But I just want to get the measuring right. I've installed this earlier today, this fan. This went pretty well. I'll show you what it looks like from up above. Going up the ladder, take a look. That's it. And this right here along this leading edge, this is where I'll put that piece of Unistrut going to be kind of double strong because of the leading edge. 
So here we go. It's April 24th, 2021, and I've got the first solar panel mounted up on the roof. No small feet. Anyway, uh, it's not going anywhere. Lots of fasteners with Unistrut. It's a 350 watt panel. And there'll be three more sitting up there. One more that sits right behind this one, the same direction. And then the only way I can get all four of them to fit is the other two will go longitudinal. They'll go the other direction. But everything hopefully will line up. So here we go. This is where I built the battery stand for the 48 volt battery, the 16 cells. It's beside the uh, shed. It's got the temporary panel, the panel that uh, all the devices are mounted on, the grow watt, and all the other devices are inside of the uh, storage shed. And uh, we'll loop those wires from the battery into the storage shed and also for the solar cells. So I'm building the uh, 16 cell 48 volt battery here and uh, I'll make some long handles on it so that it can easily be carried into the trailer when that's ready so I'll just continue here that's the news here in Dallas Texas hello family June 4th 2021 day before your mother and i's 45th wedding anniversary i wanted to give you a brief update on the trailer what we've ac i've accomplished since the last visit big news here got all the solar panels on let me give you a view and uh the solar system is now working in the trailer so it's kind of exciting to be fully self powered and working fine here we go Hopefully you'll be able to see all these big solar panels on there. It's pretty significant. Got a little more fastening to do on them, but it's coming along well. <clears throat> Walk around to the back. See all the windows are in place now. Here's the front of the unit. Here's a good side view. and you can see now a lot of this will be covered up with a cabinet but this is what the solar system looks like in the unit now if you see this panel right here the panel will be on a cross wall and here's the batteries down below all mounted so you can see progress is being made one day at a time Insulation done on, on the ceiling, the first stage anyway. Well, I don't want to make this video too long, but I wanted to give you an update.